We are high school students from Heathwood Hall Episcopal School in Columbia, South Carolina. We are in Long Beach, California, conducting marine research with Captain Charles Moore, founder of the Algalina Marine Research Foundation. He is credited with discovering the Great Pacific Garbage Patch and author of Plastic you know Ocean. When the start time is, we'll yeah. record it. The Manta Trawl is being deployed to skim the surface of the water and collect everything larger than 333 microns, including plankton, algae, plastic, and other marine debris. We are removing items from the end of the collection net for sample analysis at Sea Lab. So we took a sample that looked somewhat like this and we poured it into this dish. And then we took the forceps and divided them into what we knew as plastic, feathers, and plants. Probably chips. So you can see the M right there. Yeah, it looks like it's it could be tape. Like, wow! We took the smaller stuff and we take about a teaspoon of it and put it into a petri dish that they are looking at under the microscope. We observed the sample under the microscope in order to sort organic materials from plastic. Plastic materials were removed from the sample and placed into a petri dish for size sifting. Okay, once you're finished, okay. now the next person. And you can see how the smaller pieces are stuck right there. You got a lot of nice color pit pieces. After sorting, all plastic materials are placed into a low temperature oven for drying before being weighed. When the plastic comes out of the oven, it is removed from the sieve and sorted according to type. Fragments, pellets, foam, line, or film. Each type of plastic is weighed and the data is recorded. The samples are then stored in glass vials and labeled with plastic type, dry weight, date collected, location collected, and collection method. In our small sample, we found 22 fragments, 4 pieces of line, 7 pieces of foam, and 4 pieces of foam for a total of 37 pieces of plastic. Being on the boat was really fun. There was a lot going on, and we got a lot of information out of it. It's amazing how much work goes into this process and how little material comes out of it, but even the smallest particles are important to the research process and to the overall environmental effect. This experience was very eye-opening for me. After realizing the amount of trash into the surface and how this affects everything in the environment, I'll be more aware of the plastics that I use and what I do with them, and I encourage you to do the same.